Dear colleagues, at the outset, I would like to congratulate Mr. Roberto Montella on assuming his duties as the Secretary General of our family. The Parliamentary Assembly of the OEC is a priority for us. We also pin our hopes on the successful German OSC chairmanship in 2016. First and utmost, it concerns the situation in Ukraine. The Minsk agreements, and in particular the package of measures for their implementation create an essential framework to solve the crisis. It is time for all stakeholders to start acting and refrain from any confrontational rhetoric. We believe that the proposal to set up a contact group on Ukraine in the OSC Parliamentary Assembly is still relevant. We should not let this crisis slide into another frozen conflict. The security of each participating state is inseparable, linked to that of all others. This provision of the Astana Declaration has become even more important 40 years after the signature of the Helsinki Final Act. Terrorism, the situation in the Middle East, migration crisis, all these factors have a negative effect on global security. The Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, being in essence a Eurasian forum, can and should contribute to restore trust between countries in the interests of comprehensive security. The less mutual trust and cooperation exist, the more opportunities terrorists get to undermine moral and political values of the modern civilization. On May 21st this year in Astana, we are hosting a parliamentary conference, Religions Against Terrorism, that will be attended by representatives of all world and traditional religions. Taking this opportunity, I am delighted to invite my distinguished colleagues to take part in this conference. The fight against terrorism should not be limited only to the use of force. We all have witnessed that terrorism is a complicated phenomenon poisoning the minds and souls of young people around the planet. Therefore, we need a new ideology deriving from teachings of world and traditional religions to successfully respond to this global menace. We welcome the agreement between the United States and Russia on the truce in Syria and urge all the parties concerned to strictly implement it in order to protect the fragile situation in Syria from a further deterioration. The OEC Parliamentary Assembly should act in the spirit of a common political project. We find any policies aimed at blocking members of parliaments, in particular their speakers, from attending our forums by imposing visa restrictions to be fully unacceptable. There should be no room for sanctions in politics in the 21st century, since they shatter the world economy. The right to impose sanctions is an exclusive power of the United Nations and ought to be applied in exceptional cases. Despite the crisis, Kazakhstan is absolutely firm in its commitment to pursue institutional reforms. Last year, President Nazarbayev launched the plan of the nation. This comprehensive document implies civil service reform, enhancing the rule of law, economic diversification, business development, strengthening Kazakhstan's identity and unity, creating transparent and accountable government. To support these sweeping reforms, the parliament has already passed almost 60 laws and will consider some dozens in the nearest future. And finally, I would like to inform you that Kazakhstan will hold on the 20th of March elections to the low chamber, to the majlis. Six political parties will compete 
for the seeds. The OSC observation mission has been deployed. The election will be open and fair in compliance with the national legislation and international standards. Thank you for your attention.